Hello and welcome to a Dragon Pyramid tutorial. Um, if it's your first time, I hope you learn something new. If you are a new Mac user or if you're a PC user, switching to a Mac or thinking about or even if you're just curious, oh, I wonder what OS X looks like or feels like. Anyway, I'm going to do something pretty damn simple today um, and that's change the desktop icon. Not, you know, I don't mean icon, I mean background, you know, the picture on the background of the desktop. Just something simple, I hope I don't patronise you in any way, because I know that if you were given 20 minutes or something, not even that, um, you'll be able to figure it out yourself on any operating system, be it Linux, be it um, the Solaris, or be it anything. Anyway, what you plan to do is you can right click the desktop, like so, or you can control click like I did, because I only have a single click mouse, um, and click change desktop background. Well, that's the short way of doing it. Well, you can go in System Preferences and go to Desktop and Screensaver. Um, clicking on the tab, one for the desktop, one for the screensaver, depending on whichever one you want to change. But in this case, it's a desktop. And here we have an abundance of um, pictures that a default on the system you know like you get the ones on XP where there's like 50 of them and the crap or whatever well some of them aren't that bad like for example the one with the trees and or the dog well I'm, I'm not too keen anyway you know what I mean default pictures and what you do is you just simply click it and it changes click it and it changes right so here is the current desktop image right a little preview box and also you can see in the background um, the desktop image so what do you do you click your picture you want, it changes in the little preview and it changes on the desktop. You don't need to hit OK, you don't have to hit Apply or close any boxes or anything. It's as simple as click and it happens. Click and it happens. Click and it happens. Click and it happens. Um, okay, so that's for the defaults. We have a little uh, list in here. Nature. Default nature icons. Find a Nemo type thing. Plants. Um, they're taking quite a long while to load, if I'm honest. Doesn't usually take that long. Um, some kind of plant death. Rose, perhaps. Black and white images. Oh, this one looks quite nice. Oh, I like this one. I didn't realise these were here, if I'm honest. That's, I like that one. Some kind of wavy thing. Um, abstract art. All these are default on the system. I, I haven't put these on myself. Okay, or a solid colour. So for example, you're going to be grey today. Or you're going to be... What is that? Just a darker grey today. Or you're going to be pink or purple, whatever that is today. Um, okay, um, automatically the pictures folder is added. So if you have anything in your finder, that goes um, like this. Click, click. Um, if you're wondering what the Japanese train sounds are doing, it's actually my MSN, people signing on and off. Because um, my mum is like, oh, what's that noise? But anyway, um, anything that's a directly in the uh, pictures file in the finder would directly go into this one. So just to make that little connection. So if there's any files or anything in there. Um, um, and other stuff, you know, like subfolders and that. Okay, so for example, that's easy. You can figure that out. Um, let's change the background because it's doing me head in some stones there. Right, so we've got a desktop background that we want to apply um, in this folder, um, in Lego Man, in, in th this image. Yes, I don't know what it is. Just wait for it to preview. Um, it's a bit crap. Let's, let's choose something else. Um, picks. Mm, go down, 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 down. This one, for example. Oh, 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 what happened there? That. Right, so we want this image to be applied. It's a domino. So what do you do? You click and you drag. See, it's uh, gone slightly transparent, but if you notice, if you drag it across windows, it's uh, how on earth are we going to get from one window to another? Right, so clicking and holding on your mouse, press F9, and all the windows separate. So you can see every window. So if I had five windows, you'd see all five windows. And you drag, and you see it's got it's gone like a blue color with the name of what it is. Press F9 again, and that one's on the top. 
and drag it into the box, the preview box, and you see it's got a little plus, and um, unclick, and it applies. No clicking OK, no clicking whatever. You know, someone talking to me, go away. Um, you could do it multiple times, drag, F9, F9, and voila. Uh, it's easy as that, you don't need to... I suppose uh, in some ways it's a little bit of a faff, but for any, any image, be it on in a folder, be it small, be it big. Now, the dimensions are wrong on this one. So if I just press F11, you can see it's a bit pixelated. So I do recommend that you actually choose your image wisely. Otherwise, you'll get some kind of pixelated Luigi like I have now. Um, okay, so that's pretty much it. I hope you've learned something. And I hope that you're not going to cry because I've confused it too much. Um, changing your desktop background is pretty easy. Um... In some ways, I suppose it is a little bit easier on a, on a um, PC because you double click your photo and you can browse your photos, then you right click, then you press set as de desktop background. But it's not something that, well, for me, it's not something that I change. And I only use the default one. Look, I just like this. So, whatever. It's whatever tickles your fancy. So, I suppose changing the desktop background on a Mac isn't as easy. Um, well, it is as easy, but isn't easier than. Windows XP. I mean, that's just my opinion. You may disagree, you may back me up, but whatever, I don't care. So, I hope you've learned something. Um, and please watch another tutorial. Not all of them are this bland and boring and simple. Like, for example, Bluetooth or networking. Um, go and have a squire or a look, if you don't know what I mean. Um, have a good day. Ta-ra.